Amanda Watkins, a 29-year-old woman from Minnesota, USA, suffered muscle activation syndrome. Have you ever heard of it? Today, Sergio Pico will explain a bit of what this illness is. Good morning and welcome, morning. Sergio. Well, can you explain what this illness is? Well, uh, the muscle activation is a syndrome that makes the body's protection attack the body instead of protecting it. It is a syndrome that gives different symptoms from person to person. <coughs> um, what happened exactly in the case of Johanna Watkin? Um, well, uh, we don't know exactly the, the symptoms that uh, she had at the beginning, but she knew she had the syndrome uh, before her marriage and everything went worse after. Who was that? One day, her husband entered into the room where she was and she felt very sick. And then he had to leave the room. Uh, after a week, uh, he did the same thing with the same results. How is her life now? And as she can be next to the other people, uh, she can be with her family, her parents, uh, her husband, her friends. Mm, now she has to she has to live in an attic with the window sealed and alone. The worst thing is there's no cure for this syndrome yet. Now Donna lies with the hope that doctors will think a uh, cure some. The article we'd like to present you is an extensive reportage about the life in Galician mountains, Cerrados and Cars. Our Spanish friends went there and personally interviewed a few people who had been living uh, those mountains for many years. Ancares, on the one hand, means breathtaking views, but on the other hand, it is famous for the unique architecture, the thatched roofs called in Spanish paliazas. The houses date back to Celtic times and they are considered the oldest inhabited buildings in all of Europe as UNESCO states. The interview with Isarina was the most appealing to us. She spent her childhood in one of the huts. She was, she was talking about the everyday life, but also about festivals and traditions. Isarina, on the record, is playing traditional instruments, similar to tambourine and singing an old-fashioned songs. Hello. Hi. Why did you choose the Schindler Factory article? Uh, I chose it because when I visited the fabric, there was an old uh, lady that lived in that period. Which were your feelings and was there anything to amplify them? Uh, my feeling was empathy and disappointment about society and they were amplified by photographs, posters, clothes, tools, toys and even videos of survivors from the concentration camps. How did the Germans control the Polish? Uh, the Germans killed all uh, educated people because uh, they say it's easy to control uneducated people. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Good morning, I'm Veronica and she's Fred House. This article, written by Sandra Severo Garcia from Spain, talks about re uh, women's right to vote. Women have always been considered um, culturally inferior to men. For this reason, they had no, uh, no power within politics and uh, no right to vote. Women have been asked uh, uh, weaker sex throughout history. This includes uh, intelligence. They were seen as uh, uniform and not uh, interfere in the activities uh, of men, for example, politics. Uh, this being said, uh, women have been in great demand for obvious, obvious reasons um, throughout history. In 19 September 1893, uh, New Zealand became the first self-governing country in the world in which all women uh, had the right to vote. 37 dead after plane crash. A Turkish car plane crashed in a residential area near the capital of Kyrgyzstan on 16 January. At least 37 people were left dead after the crash, most of the families who lived in the area that was struck. 
The crash caused at least 37 lives and 15 people were brought to the hospital, according to Kyrgyzstan's health minister. Six of the dead are children. 40 buildings in the area have been damaged or completely ruined in the crash. It was 7 a.m. in the morning local time when the plane crashed in the residential area. There was a heavy fog present at the time of the crash. The plane was headed to Istanbul from the Hong Kong and planned to make a stop in Manas, where it later crashed. Both the pilots died in the crash and in total 52 were killed or injured as a result of the incident.